TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Clubhouse. We're talking about celery juice, the power it has, and how it's the bug killer. And that's really important to know because everybody's sick because of some kind of bug. Some kind of bug. Whether it's virus, bacteria, different pathogens we all walk around. What happens in alternative medicine, in conventional medicine, people got sick, went to their doctors, and no one knew what was wrong with them. Nobody knew for years, decades. Yeah, they can have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, they can have RA, they can have anything. Aches and pains and the vertigo and the dizziness and the eczema psoriasis, but people don't know. They don't know that all these decades, it's like, well, um, here, just take the steroid cream. Um, just take the steroid injection. Uh, just take these antibiotics. Uh, you got Lyme disease, take these antibiotics. Oh, you're getting worse? Well, apparently we're wrong about it being bacteria. But the point is, is people walking around sick with so many different problems, including migraines and then the chronic infections, UTIs, and chronic sinusitis and everything else. And you got to think about it. All these years, people walking around sick. They're sick with pathogens. And one of the reasons why people recover with medical meme information was because of celery juice. That was a powerful tool and still is today. By the way, you guys, 20% off the Omega MM900 right here. So the MM900 HDS, OmegaJuicers.com, just so you know that there's a sale going on for a few days on this juicer. I'm making some celery juice and I want to, I want making some celery juice and I want to remind you guys that next week I'm doing the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse and i hope you guys are totally into it because we're going to do the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse so i am pumped about that one of the keys and the reason why i got the celery juicer out right now is one of the keys of that cleanse is celery juice so whether you have some juicer you have right now or you're looking at this juicer or some other juicer it doesn't matter just have a juicer and have one ready because the heavy metal detox cleanse is gonna be next week. I'm pumped about it. So I know we just did the medical meat mono cleanse, right? You guys remember the mono cleanse and we did the morning cleanse. Now we're doing the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse, which is a big deal. So I'm pumped about that. 32 ounces this morning of celery juice, incredible. <laughs> incredible. So good to see you guys. So. What's amazing about celery juice really is why does why does it work? Why is it helping people? People that have taken everything and done everything, done, done everything, been there, done that. People seen tenderologists, taken every single natural supplement, every single uh, alternative medicine thing. You can you candida cleansers and gut health powders and probiotics, and they're still sick. Migraines, still sick with problems, still sick with aches and pains fatigue, still just really ill, going through so much. And celery juice, you're bringing celery juice. And how come it moves the needle? Like, it moves the needle. How is that possible? One of the reasons why it's possible, it kills the bugs. It whacks the bugs, man. Darcy said, I'm going to start juicing. How much should I start with? I do 16 to 32 ounces in the morning, but I like every morning I really try to push it 32 ounces. That's what I do. Try to get, you know, what you can in you, right? That's what I always say to people. Glad you guys are coming on. It makes a difference. It really does. And celery juice also keeps people out of trouble too, unless they're doing death by a thousand cuts too much. And then <laughs> they're doing like everything wrong and anything wrong. They're reading really bad. <laughs> they're picking up new bugs left and right. <laughs> they're doing new medical treatments. All kinds, they're getting blood draws, extensive blood draws, so blood testing all the time. So they're removing their immune system out of the person all the time. And, and, then, and then the celery juice might not be enough because it's death by a thousand cuts. So your celery juice is trying to sustain you. It's trying to keep you okay. It's trying to keep you hanging in there while you keep on doing all the wrong shit. And all of a sudden you're doing now another blood draw because your doctor wants 20 more vials taken out of you and 10 more vials taken out of you. And then you're doing, you're doing, now you're doing the wrong foods. Now you've got the wrong supplements and there's citric acid and alcohol in them and natural flavors and MSG. And you're doing all these things 
And celery juice is trying to keep you hanging in there. I've seen that with people where they're doing celery juice and it's the only thing they're doing right. They're doing their celery juice and it's the only thing they're doing right. And they're doing so many things wrong that, that the celery juice is like, hey, hey, uh, you better do something right because I can't do it all for you. You got to do something right. You're doing, you know, and... And that's people don't realize it. You're doing your caffeine. You're doing your apple cider vinegar. You're doing your nutritional yeast with all that MSG, right? And celery juice is trying to keep you there. And then we're doing all these other things. And celery juice is like trying to keep you hanging in there. I've seen that with people where they're drinking their celery juice. And their celery juice is keeping them hanging in there. While they're doing all this other stuff, high fat, they're tanking fats, left and right, they're on the high fat diet, always on the edge of a heart attack with their high fat diet, always on the edge of the heart attack, always on the edge of a stroke with their high fat diet, and the celery juice is keeping them hanging in there. Amanda says, my friend just passed away, HLH, high blood, blood drawn daily. I tried to tell her it was terrible. Get the word out, please. My God, I'm so sorry, truly. Uh, breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Um, Joanne, Anthony, why do doctors say to blend, not juice? Just, they just have the wrong information. Just misinformation, that's all. I mean, that's what it is, you know, and, and uh, to be, to be, not mean or to be to be kind about it. They don't have the information. It's as simple as that. I spent decades helping people and having people fly all around the world to my office and they went and saw lots of doctors and the doctors didn't know why someone's sick. Just my friend told me the other day that he was watching some conference. He's a doctor and he was watching a conference with a bunch of doctors on there talking about like that they thought they were on this breakthrough with microbiome. It's like, what? You're on some breakthrough microbiome? Um, that's fun and all, and that's cute and all, but why aren't you talking about what the real problems are, why people are sick? It's a shingles virus and the Epstein-Barr virus. They got their Hashimoto's because of it. it's not. They don't have their Hashimoto's and hyperthyroidism because of microbiome. They don't have their RA, rheumatoid arthritis, because of their microbiome. They don't have neurological line because of microbiome. I mean, why, why are you doing... They don't have ADHD because of that. So it's doctors just don't know. And you, you, you know, doctors, they play in a lot of doctors, they play in a land of, if it's make believe. They don't know what's wrong with anyone. So then they hear about, oh, microbiome's getting popular. Let me look, research it. Let me do my first microbiome implant in somebody. It's like, okay, um, yeah, uh, let's wait 10 years for that. Um, let's wait for 10 years for your first microbiome implant to help out your patient when Jesus Christ, your patient's suffering and suffering terribly with like real issues, like all kinds of different pathogens. And those pathogens are giving them the vertigo and the dizziness and tinnitus and the brain fog and the pain in the neck and pain in the back and the pain in the legs and feet and they're suffering and they're struggling and you're doing your first microbiome implant if that was if that's even going to help and it's really sad it's, it it kills me really and then make sure you blood draw the person to death make sure you take another 8 vials and another 10 vials and another 12 vials and knock their immune system down more and more you know and that's what happens so look the reason it looks back to that with the fiber okay what happens is the doctors don't know and other people don't know and health professionals don't know you guys is that this is herbal medicine and this is a medical device. I don't care what juicer you have. This one's 20% off, it's the MM900 and, and I'll show you what it does and how dry the pulp is and how much you can save in money and all that when you juice celery. But besides that, any juicer you use, you guys, anyone, it could be the crappiest juicer out there, it's a medical device. It's a medical device, that's what it is. What you're doing is you're creating your own herbal medicine. Your own form of herbal medicine is what you're doing. So Lydia says, been juicing for the past three years. It has changed my, wait, sorry, and changed my juicer to Omega, the 900 M, uh, MM900. Amazing, I get so much more juice and the cleanup is so much easier. I tell people all the time, the cleanup's easy, it's not noisy, you get so much more juice and it pays for itself. And it pays for itself. And it just does. Like, 
the amount of money it has saved me with celery, okay, you guys, has paid for the juicer over a dozen times. It's like getting 12 new juicers for free over time. That's what this does as far as how much it saves, right? So let's go back to this though. I got to tell you guys, this is a medical device. Got to keep that in mind. Whatever juicer you have is a medical device. That's what it is. The purpose is to keep you off of medical equipment. It's to keep you off of medical equipment because you're sick. Because you're in the hospital, you're sick, or you're, you're at home and you're sick. This is a medical device. Its purpose is to help keep you away from trouble. That's what its purpose is, you guys. It's to help keep you away from trouble. That's what it is. And what you're doing is you're making herbal medicine. That's what happens. Doctors don't know, and so a lot of doctors do know now. I mean, they do. A lot of doctors follow medical medium information. They have the medical medium books. They're medical medium friendly doctors for their patients because so many, so many books have gotten around the world and so many patients have healed from medical medium information that the doctors, they do, they, there's so many medical medium friendly doctors, right? That practice medical medium information. There's a lot of doctors that don't. So they'll say, blend up your celery in a smoothie. They don't know that when you leave the fiber and you're just throwing in a couple of sticks, and you're putting a couple of sticks in your smoothie and you leave the fiber in there. It's not enough. You have to extract it. They don't know this is an herb. This is an herb. You guys, it's an herb. Okay? It's like when you go to your natural uh, professional doctor, or alternate medicine doctor, or now conventional medicine doctor, and they give you a bottle of pills and there's some herbs in there. Right? You know, some kind of multivitamin powder or any powder or anything and it has a couple of herbs in it. This is an actual herb right here. And what happens is your doctor doesn't know this is an herb. They think this is a vegetable for crudite or for a little hummus. That's what they think. And that's how sad that is. Truly, it's how sad it is. You got the juicer a few months ago and love it. The celery pulp is actually dry. It is. I want to show you guys on TikTok. Good to see you. Thank you. So you can't consume 32 ounces of herbal juice if you're going to blend in the fiber with it. If you're going to blend the celery with it in a smoothie or a blender, you can't get 32 ounces, you can't get 16 ounces of the juice, the, me the medicine, the medicinal juice. So important. So a couple of things you guys, will, maybe you guys have figured this out, okay? You'll hear it out there. Anyone ranking on celery juice, anyone ranking on it, right? Discrediting it, right? They don't even know it's herb. It's herb. It's, it's actual medicine, it's herb, it's medicinal, it's an herbal extraction. They don't even know. They think, like I said, it should be chopped up in little pieces and put into your tuna salad. That's all. Sarah, I healed brain fog with medical medium tools. The 369 cleanse is so powerful. Everyone needs Anthony's life-changing books. I had 50 symptoms, only two left, and I'm on the way in healing those two. Incredible, Sarah, amazing, amazing, amazing. There are doctors out there that have a practice for years, like a decade. They get one patient better with one symptom and they get heralded as God. One patient better in a year, just a little better. They put them on a keto diet, they weren't that sick to begin with. They had a couple of symptoms, they get one symptom better and now they're God because of a keto diet. It's like there's the, the difference between like the not so sick and people who have 50 symptoms. Sarah, so you have 50 symptoms. It's just so, so much to bear, right? That you've been through. And there's a difference there between having a lot of symptoms and not being sick and then cleaning up your diet and exercising. Big difference. Big difference. And that's when the celery juice matters. So you'll see the people who rank on celery juice and stuff, you guys. They're people that have never been sick. 
They don't know what it's like when that needle won't move, no matter what powder or what probiotic you're trying or what fish oil you're trying or what charcoal powder or what whatever whey protein powder. When, you, when the needle won't move, they don't understand that because they've never been sick yet. They haven't gotten there yet. They haven't gotten the pathogens yet and they haven't got enough toxic heavy metals. So when they do, they go down. And then that's what moves the needle. Mary Fox says, so focused on my digestive issues, I didn't even realize I'd lost my eye floaters. Amazing. One thing that happens when you start taking care of yourself and you start doing the right things and celery juice is one of them, you start getting rid of symptoms. Some symptoms you weren't even like getting, like weren't even thinking about or got so used to having, right? Guys, if you just came on here, there's a sale running for a couple of days just on this juicer omegajuicers.com so omegajuicers.com and at omegajuicers.com this is the mm 900 hds mm 900 hds you're gonna want this juicer over any other juicer there this is the one that squeezes out the medicine squeezes out the medicine like no other juicer out there in the world and so i'm gonna juice some celery now so Hey, I got this under here. One time I did it, wasn't even there, and it was just pouring out. That's why we're live. So, this is a medical device helping to prevent you from being on medical equipment in a hospital or somewhere else. What you'll notice is there aren't metal gears here. There aren't metal gears in here. There's not metal gears, okay? I don't like juicers with metal gears. Bump grinding and rubbing against each other. That is a nightmare for me because metal on metal wears. You don't see it wear but it does. And that metal wears out. And, and so here you are juicing your celery and you got metal on metal in here and you're just getting little tiny bits of metal you can't see. So I don't like, I, it's really annoying when someone's like, hey, there's this other brand of juicer. It's so great, top of the line. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, it's masticating the whole bit. Oh really? It's got the metal gears, huh? Okay, great. Not great, terrible. Debbie Rhodes says a mega juicer saves you money and energy. It's so smooth and easy, isn't it? I just love it. I can't even, I can't even say enough. You need, you need it when you're really sick. The MM900 HDS. By the way, you guys, anybody coming on here right now, please hear, hear me out on this. Next week, Medical Medium Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse. I'm doing the heavy metal detox cleanse next week. Are you joining me? Doing the heavy metal detox cleanse. One of the reasons why I'm juicing celery today, I'm gonna give us a little reminder about the celery juicer is because do you have a juicer? It's part of the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse because it's not just the, the, the smoothie, it's also the, the celery juice is part of that cleanse. Heavy metal rock and roll cleanse. You saw that? So right now what I'm doing is, what you see is dry, dry pulp coming out right here. Couple of tips. Don't add anything to your celery juice. The medicine has to be by itself. Has to be by itself. It's easy to clean, isn't it? So you guys are happy with it. I love it. I'm in love with this juice, or I can't even tell you. Love it, love it. I've tried every juicer out there. Love this juicer. Don't do high pressured pasteurization celery juice from the store. You're getting ripped off. Every time you buy celery juice from a store and it's in a bottle in the cold section and wasn't freshly juiced that morning, it's high pressure pasteurization, HPP. 
do not do HPP celery juice. It's big. You may as well just dump it in the parking lot, buy it, pour it out in the street and in the parking lot. That's how useless it is because of high pressure pasteurization. Keep that in mind. They'll say it's raw on the bottle. It looks like raw green juice. It looks like raw celery juice, but it's not. It's been cooked in a different way. Selbrook says, how much celery juice medicine when I'm on Mattress Island with CFS? If I was on Mattress Island with CFS, if I was there, okay, I'd be doing what I can to start with. It'd be like, what can I do? Can I get up to 32 ounces? I would do a minimum of 16 ounces on an empty stomach in the morning. If you're really sensitive, start with four ounces, six ounces. If I had CFS, I would work myself up to 32 ounces or at least 28 ounces eventually. All right, there's plenty of celery juice in here right now, so. That's what I would do. All right, so I wanna show you guys, and I think you guys know this, right? This is light and fluffy. So this is light and fluffy. So this is dry. It's dry. There's no juice in the bottom of this. This is dry. The pulp, see that? See the pulp pieces? It's not sticking to the bottom. It's actually dry, right? There's a reason for that. The MM900 squeezes out so much juice that your pulp is dry. Let me just tell you what this equa equates for for me. I've already saved, I mean, thousands at this point where it's paid for free juicers, meaning I could have gotten 12 new free juicers with the money I saved because I buy so much celery. That's the difference right there. It's, it's incredible. Blows me away still. Trying to read a comment. Keeps it moving. Do you only use organic celery? No. No, I don't. I, I, I use conventional celery. I wash it really good. I wash out the stalks. Conventional celery. I take my thumb. I take a little bit of natural dish, dish soap, right? I have a big bowl of water. I put a little bit of natural dish soap in there. It's a little bit, right? I stick the celery in there, meaning I actually I get, I get it ready for where it's, it's stalks like this. I put it in the bowl and then I rub it with my hands really good in that water. And I take my thumb and I go down the stalks like this and I clean all that out really nice. Yeah, I use conventional celery, absolutely. I mean, I use organic when I can, but if I can't find it, I'm still gonna choose um, conventional celery, 100%. Because because you're still, yeah, you, you don't have an organic herb, you're not using an organic herb at the moment, but that's okay, because what it offers as an herb outweighs it. Where do you buy the juicer? Omegajuicers.com. It's their MM900 HDS celery juicer model. It's the only one on sale there at megajuicers.com. And I'm working with the Mega on this machine, just so you know. And I always tell you guys that. But use whatever juicer you have if you have one, because it's still a medical device. I call juicers medical devices. So important. The celery juice helps SIBO. Does it ever? Does it ever? Does it ever? Because what SIBO, right? SIBO is small, right? Intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Well, as I was talking about before, celery juice is a bacteria killer. It's a bacteria and viral killer. Celery juice kills viruses and bacteria. That's right. SIBO is streptococcus specifically. Research and science doesn't know that. They just think it's some type of bacteria. They don't know what kind, but it's streptococcus. That's what gives the bloating, that the whole bit. That's, that's the bacteria that takes over. That's the, dominant, that's the dominant strain of bacteria in everybody's gut is streptococcus. There's so much to be had, tons of it out there. People share it, spread it. Some people have five different strains, 10 different strains of strep in their system, picking up so many different strains. And celery juice helps to whack it. So if you guys, know, if you guys just came on here, there's a sale on the MM900 HDS. And the thing is with this, pulp is dry. You won't be disappointed. It's dry. It's flaky. It's flaky and dry. And because it squeezes 
the juice. So then uh, what I'm doing when I go to the store, I'm buying less celery. It's like, okay, I'm gonna buy some celery at the store now. Okay, thank you here. It's less celery than it was, okay? So you guys always ask me what juicer I use. This is it right here. And I'm working with the Mega on this juicer because I, because of what it does. It saves people the money. I want to be involved making sure that this thing sticks around. You have that juicer, it's amazing. Incredible, Heather. Amazing. So let's just pour this in here. So it's talking about how the juice kills pathogens. Very important. You have to strain your juice. So you have to strain it, okay? That is key. Got to strain it. Glad you guys are coming on. Straining it is very important. You want that pure herbal juice. Pure herbal medicine is what you want. You want that as pure herbal medicine. Okay? So, what you'll run into is stupid talk about celery out there. Okay? Let's cover that real quick. If you guys got a few seconds, just want to let you in on something. Okay? This is the only trend in health in the world that's not backed by money. Think about that. All your probiotics, all your fish oils, all your different, all your stuff, all your fulvic acid, it doesn't matter what it is, your sodium bicarbonate, whatever it is, whatever your, whatever is happening in trend world, kombucha tea, all of it is backed by money. Investors, and shareholders, just so you know. And that's why the stuff is out there. It's not out there because it moved the needle when someone was on Mattress Island. Do you know how this survived? Because it moved the needle when someone was on Mattress Island. That's why this survived. Whey protein powder is only surviving because it's got money behind it. Apple cider vinegar is only surviving because it's a billion dollar industry. These are only surviving because they have investors and shareholders and there's money propelling it into millions and millions of dollars of ads. Celery juice stays alive on its own out there without any money behind it. Do you guys know what that means? That means it really works. It stayed alive with the naysayers, the, the attacks on it because you can't make money on celery juice, right? On celery. Robin says, your information rescued me from Mattress Island. That means everything to me. Everything. Yes, ACV is bad for you on TikTok. It's terrible for you and in so many ways. I'm not going to go into it right now, but you can listen to my podcast episode if you want. Medical Mean Podcast at Apple Podcasts, the ACV episode, episode of Vinegar. Um, so, Robin, I'm so glad you're off Mattress Island. Thank God. Thank God. That, that means everything to me. Everything. So... You guys, this stayed alive and millions of people are drinking it worldwide. And alternative medicine and conventional medicine hate it. They hate this because it's not making the podcast doctor's money. It's not making the podcast doctor's money. It's not making the YouTube doctor's money. It's not making anybody money, but yet it's in the way. There's no shareholders and that are dumping in millions and millions of dollars in advertisements for, for this. This isn't being advertised all over the place. But no, all your tricked out supplements that won't move the needle like your charcoals and your zeolites and your bentonite clay and, you know, your whey protein powder and your charcoal and your ACV gummies and all that stuff propelled by money. Your kombucha tea propelled by money, 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 money. This isn't. Do you guys know what that means? That means that this is the only trend in existence in alternative and conventional medicine that literally survives because it actually heals people, not because it has billions of dollars being dumped into it in advertisements nonstop left and right. Yeah. Right? God, when you think about it, when you think about it, that's a big deal. Survives with all the hate and the negativity to it and how many nutritionists say you, you shouldn't juice celery, you should make sure you just have it in a smoothie with other things. Yeah, you can do that too. 
celery is good for you, but it becomes a medicine when you juice it. This is herbal medicine. And it's one of the medical medium tools. And many people don't use this tool correctly. Has to be on an empty stomach if you can. That's usually its best ticket right there. 16 ounces on an empty stomach, right? That's that right there is really important. Check this out, right? That one, don't add ice, no lemon, no water. Don't add that into your juice. Keep that in mind. Stacy Highland, how are you? Had a tickle in my throat Monday, zinc and C shock therapy plus fat free back to normal today. Incredible. The vitamin C shock, the medical mean vitamin C shock, C shock therapy and zinc shock therapy. Incredible. But Vimergy products though, Vimergy, I'm not sponsored by Vimergy, but it's got to be Vimergy to really do what it's got to do. Cause I heard someone try to with a whole bunch of other different stuff, crappy stuff from other companies. And it didn't work because it was bad. Zinc wasn't stabilized, terrible vitamin C. Yeah, so it has to be the good stuff, like the Vimergy. Chris, you seem fine to me. Celery juice healed so many of my debilitating symptoms. And Chris, you tried all the other stuff out there. You know what I'm talking about, got all that other stuff out there. Yeah. Um, Stefan says, I have been drinking about 500 milliliters for many months, but don't feel any big change. But you know, Stefan, you're not going backwards, right? not going backwards. And I bet you, Stefan, if I was a fly on the wall, there'd be a whole bunch of crap you're doing that just like I said at the beginning of the show right now, I said, celery juice will keep you stable even when you're trying to kill yourself. You're trying to kill yourself. Dumping that vinegar in you, too much salt, too much fat. Here you are, you're trying to kill yourself, but celery juice is keeping you going. You're doing your caffeine. Stefan, you haven't had any chocolate? You haven't had any chocolate? You haven't had any caffeine? No ca no caffeine, huh, Stefan? No vinegar? So your vinegar, you mean to tell me no vinegar has touched your lips. So here you are trying to kill yourself. No eggs, Stefan? Did you do any eggs? No dairy products at all? Not even kefir? Not even a yogurt? What about new medical treatments? Huh? What about gluten? No gluten? So yeah, you haven't seen your benefits, but celery juice is saving your ass. It's sitting there saving your ass so you don't go down the drain. But meanwhile, you're sitting there trying to kill yourself. And mosquito, you know, mosquito spray all in the air, chemtrails jumping down, air fresheners. There could be air fresheners in your home. Scented candles, you haven't breathed in any scented candles? Because people are sucking that stuff in and it's killing them. And new bugs. What if you picked up a new bug and celery juice is knocking that down? So here we are. We're trying to kill ourselves with all this stuff that we don't even know about. And celery juice is keeping your ass afloat. And you're going to say, it's not getting me any better. It's not getting me any better. No, oh, it's only saving you or keeping you level. Are you doing all the other? Are you doing 369 cleanse? Advanced? They're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse. We're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse next week. Are you guys going to be on board? I can't wait. I'm pumped. You're going to need your cleanse of heal book. You're going to need your cleanse of heal book. You don't have, you know, it's 51% off at amazon.com US. If you can't afford the $16, go to the library, try to grab it. But we're doing the medical meme heavy metal detox cleanse next week. Sharon says, what about this new weight loss kick of lemon in coffee? and honey, so they take a medical medium tool like lemon, right, the lemon water, and they stick it in coffee now <laughs> on an empty stomach. That's a, that's no no offense, right? Because I know you're just tell, talking about this new trend out there, right? But it's the, it's the dumbest trend. That's so dumb. So let's just, let's add, okay. Okay, instead of putting table sugar in our coffee or raw sugar in our coffee, let's put honey in our coffee now. We just, we, we stepped up a little bit. I mean, how crazy is that, right? Why did you promote conventional celery? Because there's people out there that can't always get organic. And the, but yet, okay, if you can't get organic celery and it means not juicing celery at all because you don't want to use conventional celery, you just wronged yourself bad. There's times I can't get organic celery. You better believe I grab conventional celery. <sighs> Dang right. And I'm juicing it. So 
That's why I promoted conventional celery. 100%, hands down, hands down. If you're somebody that you're not gonna juice celery at all because you can only get a hold of conventional celery, so hey, I won't juice it at all. Oh my God, that's crazy. You know why? Because you're gonna get pesticides somewhere else. Your butt's gonna be getting pesticides somewhere else. You're gonna be getting pesticides from all kinds of stuff you don't even know about, including your neighbor spraying it on the lawn next door in your apartment building being sprayed all around your apartment building. You're gonna be getting in the mosquito spray that's being dumped on everybody right now across the world. You're gonna be getting all these pesticides and insecticides in you anyway, but you're gonna stay away from a conventional stock of celery and not use something that can actually help you? I mean, do I make sense or I don't make any sense? I don't make any sense. I'm just a dumbass. I don't make any sense at all. Ellen, celery juice is saving me. Incredible. Listen, I'm glad you guys are on here. We're talking about do's and don'ts. We're talking about what celery juice does. We're talking about the kind of the, the, the silly stuff out there. And, right? Celery juice, you're doing it. It's helping you while we do things to actually injure ourselves. Death by a thousand cuts. We're doing this and we're doing that wrong and we're doing this wrong and we're doing that wrong. Hey, let me buy this crap over here and take that. Let me do this and do that. Let me go do this new medical treatment. Let me go do this. Let me go do that. And celery is keeping you going while you're drinking it. Could you imagine if you knew enough medical medium tools and what to avoid and how to help yourself? Can you imagine what celery juice can do for you then? Lord. Yeah. Important to know. Really important though. Susan Walker, my legs keep cramping and pain. Um, been juicing carrots and celery, no gluten, fresh living food diet. What am I missing? Well, first of all, Susan, you're juicing carrots with your celery. Nothing wrong with carrots. I like carrots, but carrot juice has never gotten anybody better. Carrot juice, never gotten anybody better. Back to going 35 years ago, 35 years ago, okay, right? Nobody knew about juicing celery. I've been teaching about it since I was a child. Back in the 70s, okay? And let me tell you, okay, carrot juice never got anybody out of a crisis. Celery juice has. Carrot juice, carrot juice doesn't work. It's cute, it's okay. I like carrots, I, I have recipes in my books and there's grated carrot in one here and there's some you know some sauteed carrots here. Carrots are good. Read my books so you know the true cause of why you're sick and then how to heal. Get it from the library, bring it to your doctor and ask your doctor if it's okay. It's okay to actually work on your healing process. Janet Huffman. Story, celery juice keeps me up and mobile. I like the sound of that. I have double hip dysplasia, bone on bone in my hip sockets. But celery keeps me mobile and pain-free. God bless you. God bless you. And I'll tell you why. Because there must have been some inflammation there. Behind that inflammation is those buggies I talk about. Those buggies. Those buggies. And over the years, that inflammation, you get that bone on bone. And celery juice is now keeping them buggies back. That's right. How do you like them apples, you guys? It's important to know out there for everybody that's got inflammation, she's doing amazing and I'm proud of you. Patty, my bloating goes away when I drink the celery juice. I'll tell you why. Let's go into that a little bit. By the way, you guys, just one more reminder here. The medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse next week. You need a couple of things. You gotta have a book, right? That's important. And you gotta have a juicer. Do you have a juicer? If you don't, this one's on sale right now at omegajuicers.com on sale, 20% off. It's the only juicer that's on sale there right now, okay? Megajuicers.com, it's the MM900HDS. And you, it's a medical device. You won't be disappointed. Renee, can you put an apple with the celery to help with the taste? You can, it's just not gonna do what it's gonna need to do. It ain't gonna do what it's gotta do, okay? You can put an apple in there and still get some benefits, but it ain't gonna take you to that finish line or it ain't gonna take you to where it needs to take you. 
it ain't gonna do it. Or should I say it's not gonna do it. Okay. All right, what you see right here, Sorry, guys. See my little dummy over here, and what's happening is your bloating goes down to the person that was saying, hey, my bloating goes away. Your bloating going down, okay? Why? A couple of reasons. Let me give you the rundown, all the different reasons. This is important. You guys, take your pen. You guys got your notepad? This is important, notepad, pen. I don't charge for these courses. <laughs> I give you guys free courses 24 seven, I don't charge for them. So you don't have to do a, a $2,500 charge on your card in order to get the Anthony Williams school here, right? This is all free and it's all me juicing, it's fun. Okay, your bloating might not go away overnight. Sometimes it takes time, plenty of time. You might have more than one thing causing your bloating. Some people will have the bacteria, right? Or even the viruses. They'll have the bacteria and viruses inside their liver. Their liver gets stagnant and sluggish from all their high fat diets, all their vinegar, all their other stuff, their caffeine, and their liver gets burnt out, chalked out, choked out. So pathogens tend to thrive in the liver even more. Then your liver doesn't produce as much bile. So it doesn't produce as much bile as it needs to produce. And so because of that, now your fats aren't being broken down. Celery juice has significantly, significantly reduced my chronic hives. Amazing. Cleaning up your liver, a dirty liver. Valerie, one year on celery juice. My life is so much better. My husband even drinks it and loves it now. Yay. Awesome husband. Thank you, AW, for fighting for us. Finally ordered this juicer today. Incredible. And you got the discount. 20% off omegajuicers.com. Incredible. Incredible. Eventually, you can't produce the bile you need to produce. Weakened liver, stagnant sluggish liver, MM info, and then you don't break down your fats, and now your fats are clogging up your highway, right here, your gut. And then, your stomach starts to lose its hydrochloric acid because the stomach glands get toasted out, and then you can't break down your proteins. You can't break down your proteins. You can't. If you can't break down your proteins, the stuff rots and then you get gut rot. Gut rot ends up feeding all the bad bacteria and viruses. And then when you're dropping your celery juice in, right, you're drinking your celery juice, it's going down the pike, you're whacking those bugs. You're restoring your stomach glands. This is a medical tool right here, this juicer. Any juicer you have is a medical device, a medical tool. You're creating herbal medicine. You're using herbal medicine to take out the bugs. Restore your stomach glands. Clean up a stagnant, sluggish liver. Bring back your bile reserves and come back home, baby, to homeostasis. And that's what you're doing when you're using a medical device and you're taking that medical device and you're creating herbal medicine right there. If you guys don't have the juicer, it's the MM900 HDS, 20% off. It's important for the heavy metal detox cleanse next week. It's part of it because celery juice is part of the heavy metal detox cleanse. It's part of it. So go to omegajuicers.com and check it out. That's where you want to go is omegajuicers.com. So let me put them back. I used to have intense bloating, but thanks to your info, no longer get it. Incredible, Gianna. Incredible. I think that, I think Dr. Nesbitt just got out of surgery, and Dr. Nesbitt says, Gianna, uh, amazing. Dr. Nesbitt, isn't, isn't she doing incredible? No more bloating? Is that worth it? Dr. Nesbitt, what do you do when someone has bloating? You remove their stomach? What? Dr. Nesbitt says he removes the patient's stomach if they get bloating. He cuts the entire stomach out. Worse than, you know, the, 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 you know, where you stitch the stomach so people can't eat as much. So worse than that, he removes the entire stomach out. Do you remove the entire stomach out? He says he removes not only the entire stomach, 
He even considers it recommends removing the person's brain so they choose not to eat and get themselves bloated. He says, yeah. Does that make any sense? Dr. Nesbitt is drunk right now. He actually had a shot of whiskey in between surgery. Um, I trust Dr. Nesbitt sometimes, but lately he's been off the mark. Dr. Nesbitt, all kidding around. Um, is this a medical device? It is? So what's the difference in juicing and not eating it? Let's go into that. Dr. Nesbitt, can you head back to surgery? Because I'm worried about your patients under anesthesia right now. Okay. All right. Um, so what's the difference between juicing and not eating it? Let's do that right now. Okay. MC, traditional Chinese medicine doctor, third generation, master, very old, and saved tens of thousands of lives and said lemon and celery are both cold foods and not good every day. Can you please speak to that? Well, yeah, I can, definitely. Because in my 35 years of, of practice, when I was working one-on-one -on -one with people, the most powerful people in the world would travel, take their uh, private jets, and, and come to my office. After going to China, after going all over to Asia, all over the world, to the best traditional Chinese medicine doctors that were second, third, fourth generation, okay? And so what they learned was they were told the same thing. Celery was too cold and lemon was too cold on the liver. But that wasn't an answer, wasn't an answer. So when they had their vertigo and their floaters in their eyes and they were dizzy and couldn't function, and they were part basically bedridden and on Mattress Island, and they had five diagnoses and already seen 50 doctors and traveled around the world to the best traditional Chinese medicine doctors, they realized when they went to the traditional Chinese medicine doctor, they didn't have an answer. They weren't told what was causing their, their problem. They weren't told why they were suffering. They were told they had liver heat. They were told they had dampness of the spleen, and that's what they were told MC, okay? And I have no disrespect towards Chinese medicine. I know Chinese medicine doctors, known them for years. They like to learn and they like to break out of that box, okay? And they like to learn about different things because we're now in a world of chronic illness, neurological chronic illness caused by pathogens and Chinese medicine doctors of the past did not know this. And now they're starting to learn and start, they're starting to talk about bugs for the first time, okay? And so, and the other thing is millions of people worldwide are healing and getting their lives back because of medical medium info and celery juice. Millions. And medical medium information has tens of thousands of healing stories. So just so you know, no disrespect, but that's just a tidbit. Cold foods have nothing to do with what somebody being sick or not. It has nothing to do with it. Okay, lie there, lie there a mattress island. You know how many people saw, saw third generation, second generation, first generation Chinese medical medicine doctors, I mean, and still were bedridden with severe fatigue, brain inflammation, vertigo, sickness, dizziness, couldn't even eat, raging, raging panic attacks. They, and they, they were do, and they, next thing you know, they brought in their celery juice and all the other tools and they got their lives back. It's no disrespect. Wild Lizzy Flower, my bloating issue considerably went down within two weeks of celery juice and medical meeting protocols after 60 days was completely gone. Oh my God, Wild Lizzy Flower. That's funny. That's amazing and that's incredible. So proud of you guys. So we're talking about a couple of things right here. So let's go into this a little bit more so you guys know. It's critical to have a couple of things, a couple of pieces of information. One is for years, for decades, people suffer, suffered with Lyme disease, right? You guys know the Lyme disease story, okay? Celery juice, wait, so celery juice. So I'm checking out a couple of things on here. Celery juice has helped me with my inflammation. Incredible for fibromyalgia, amazing on TikTok, incredible. So let's go into this a little bit, neurological Lyme. Let me tell you about a little history, you guys, okay? Tens of thousands of women 
suffering, losing their lives because of Lyme disease, right? Late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s, late 80s, and they were antibiotic to death. That's what happened. Horrible. And they were blood drawn to death. So they had blood taken out of them over and over again, constantly. All right. You guys... So it's important to know about the suffering from Lyme disease, right? And it's still happening now. There's still doctors doing the antibiotics for the Lyme patients. They're doing a little better because they're doing less antibiotics. So they're keeping their patients alive by not killing them so fast. I support this guy completely. He knows exactly what he's talking about on TikTok. This person is, this person is a scam artist. It's not about the celery. It's about this guy. So, so smart meditation, that's your handle there on TikTok? So I'm a scam artist? Is that what I am now? Um, do you want to come here? Do you want to come here? Let's, I have, my assistant is giving you an invite right now. So you're on your way? All right, I'll see you here in a minute. Okay, I'm glad you're coming. Smart meditation. Oh, you're at the door. Smart Meditation, I'm glad you're here. Awesome. So let's bring Smart Meditation out. Smart Meditation, you're really smart. So let's make a handle with, with the word smart. thing is, donkeys are actually really smart, though, you guys. Donkeys? So, so, so but Smart Meditation isn't, though. Um, smart Meditation... It's more like it, right? Smart meditation. I'm glad you I'm glad you came out here. So thank you for telling me I'm a scam artist. That's so great. Thanks, smart meditation. You're so smart that you might be the smartest person in the world, smart meditation. Well, okay, I'll, I'll let you go. You can go back. Smart meditation, thank you for... Smart Meditation supports me? Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Well, did I pick the wrong handle? <laughs> did I pick the wrong handle? Sorry, you guys. I might have picked the wrong handle. When comments are flying up, it's kind of hard to catch them all, especially when you're, like, talking. <laughs> all right, I picked the wrong handle. Sorry, Smart Meditation. You do support medical medium. <sighs> what a day. All right. We're live. I don't know what else to say. When you're live, everything and anything go wrong. <laughs> All right. Let's go into this a little bit more. Let's make sure we move forward. It's important. So it's talking about, okay, so it's BRAD19. That's who it was. So BRAD19, I hope you stick around. You might learn something. And Smart Meditation, thank you for being here. Hey, I did say the donkey is like really smart donkeys are really smart and you know i saw somebody put a comment about the donkey and said donkeys really are mistreated they really are just so you know i love donkeys and they really are mistreated out there. It's just terrible really poor donkeys all right so when someone when someone the whole lyme disease movement i can't tell you how many people rolled into my office with lyme disease barely alive and they've been to everybody and anything especially the people that had money that rolled into my office, even when I wasn't charging anything in my office. Well, I worked for free at my office and there were lines out the door, out, out my shack, literally out of my shack, lines of people. And they were, do you know how they were paying me? An apple. They're paying me an apple. They'd leave two apples. They'd leave a banana. <laughs> They'd leave dry, dried lavender, okay? Even when I wasn't charging for years, right? Until I couldn't keep the lights on, so then I had to. So the bottom line is, it got to, it, you know, it, it, the amount of people that rolled into my office from around the world with Lyme disease, and they went to all the different people. They went to all the different Chinese medicine doctors, the acupuncturists, the nutritionists, the dietitians, the functional doctors. Uh, they were called something different back then, the alternative doctors, the holistic doctors. The functional doctors, functional medicine doctors were called holistic medical doctors back then. They weren't called functional medicine doctors. And so... With all that, they had to learn that this isn't why they were sick. They had to learn that that wasn't why they were sick. 
Okay? They had to learn that's why they were sick. That's what they had to learn. They had to learn they were sick because of this, not because of this. And that's what saved their lives. And, and, and no disrespect to the person that said third generation uh, Chinese medicine doctor. There was no third generation Chinese medicine doctor back in that time period that can tell somebody they were sick with a virus that was making them neurologically inflamed. And they weren't sick because of that. And so medical meme information really blew up with healing people with Lyme disease. That's what it was known for, for years. Two decades known for that. Recovering people with Lyme disease and even earlier. Lori Starr, your information has helped me so much more than anything else I have tried. You're an answer to my prayers. Honored you're here, truly. Because Lyme disease wasn't caused by a tick. That's why people who got... AJ, good to see you. That's why there are so many people that weren't even around a tick in their lifetime. In areas of the world, there were no ticks. Never even seen a tick in their, their region, but had Lyme disease. Because Lyme disease is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus, the shingles virus, the simplex one, the cytomegalovirus all combined, or just ABV can do it too. Sue's, Sue says, can we push to grow more celery so the world can heal? They try to stop it. They're trying to stop it right now, just so you know. And I predicted it in the celery juice book. They try to, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to make it, they're going to eventually put a, a ban on celery growing down the road. I know that's coming. It's already the biggest crop in the world and the media won't cover it. Celery is the biggest crop in the world and the media, next to the caffeine crops. And the media won't, as far as vegetable, meaning they list it vegetable, it's the biggest crop in the world. Vegetable, herb. It's the biggest crop in the world. And they won't even talk about it. Whole Foods can't even keep cases of celery and they have to get it by the truckloads and truckloads. Did you know, I was talking to somebody who works at Whole Foods, right? They have a whole system for just celery. Did you guys know that? A whole system for just celery. <laughs> and the media won't cover it. Because I'll tell you why. You can't make money off of it. And it's healing too many people. So it's a nemesis. It's bad. So this is the MM900 HDS. It's 20% off at megajuicers.com. You guys might want to grab it before next week because we're doing the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse next week. I hope you guys are there. A juicer is required. So whatever juicer you got, whatever juicer you have, if you don't have a juicer, still be there. Still be there and make the, the, the heavy metal detox smoothie. Still be there and make the heavy metal detox smoothie without the juicer. If you don't have the medical medium book, then you don't have a medical medium book. Like I don't judge anyone. If, if you're gonna come to school ill-prepared, I don't judge you. When I was a kid, I never brought my school books in. I never went to college. I told you guys. But more people healed with chronic illness around the world because of my source. Cold Light Spring, good to see you. <laughs> so, okay. So, a couple of, let's just do a couple of uh, recaps. Don't put anything in your celery juice. Make sure you strain it. Try to get 16 ounces minimum on an empty stomach. Realize you're dealing with a medical device and realize you're dealing with a bug killer. A bug killer. Even if you believe your Lyme disease is caused by a tick because of bacteria like Borrelia, then you want a bug killer. You want a bug killer. If you got SIBO, you want a bug killer. If you got anything in the chronic illness autoimmune world, autoimmune world, you want a bug killer. It's important. Herbal medicine is in your hands. It's in your hands. Um, I'm, I want to give a shout out to Smart Meditation for educating trolls. So, Smart Meditation is a smart meditation. <laughs> Thank you for educating trolls. And... I'm pumped you're here. <laughs> you guys have to realize they may... Yeah, all right. Dr. Fawn. Okay, glad you're here. All right, you guys. 
So smart meditation. Thank you for education, ed educating trolls on TikTok. You're awesome. Okay. Um, so you guys, let's do a quick rundown on how celery juice works real quick and how important it is and why. One of the reasons why it's so helpful and it, and it clears up brain fog too is because it's a complete electrolyte. I want to cover that. Nina says, I feel so much better. I drink 20 ounces in the morning. No food or drink for 30 minutes. I feel great. Awesome. It's a complete electrolyte. Please know that. A complete electrolyte. We don't have one herb, one food, one vegetable, one fruit, one piece of meat. We don't have anything that has a complete electrolyte. We don't. We don't. This is the only thing that has a complete electrolyte. Okay, sodium cluster salts are a complete electrolyte. So when this goes to the brain, it helps to revive your neurotransmitters. Your neurotransmitters start to revive. So that's another very important part of why celery juice is so incredible, it really is. You guys, I'm heading off to IG, Instagram. I'm turning TikTok back on, turning Clubhouse back on. So I'm going over to IG in just a little while. Just give me like 15 minutes. I want to clean up a little bit. You won't want to miss Instagram. You won't want to miss it. Everybody, definitely you don't want to miss it. It's going to be interesting. I'm just giving you the forewarning right now, the 411. It's going to be pretty interesting. It really is. If you think you saw the show today, uh-uh. You didn't see the show today. <laughs> All right. Remember, MM900HDS sale right now at megajuicers.com. The pulp is dry, just dry, nice and dry. Sucks the, every last drop out of the celery, saves thousands in the end, and that's the way to go. So I'm pumped. GIF 24 GT, that's a quick one. Are you coming to IG with me? I'm going to Instagram. I hope so. Heading there. All right, guys, I'll see you there soon. I love you. Wait, wait. Sunil says, hi, AW and SOC. Been consuming lemon water and CJ for almost three years daily and making great progress healing my psoriatic arthritis. Wondering, should we soak celery in water prior to juicing or not? You don't have to soak it in water to juice it. You just give it a good wash. You put it in a bowl and you can give it a good wash. That's what I do. I wash out any dirt in, in here, in the stalk right here. And I'm so proud of you. Incredibly proud of you. Psoriatic arthritis is a combination of both EBV in the liver with copper and mercury. And so what happens is you get a little bit of that dermatoxin and that dermatoxin goes to the joints or it causes some flare ups to you and everything. I talk about that in the books right here. You guys, next week, medical medium, heavy metal detox cleanse. We're doing that next week. Have a cleanse to heal book if you don't already. Amazon.com US, it's on sale. And then have a juicer. If it's not this one, have another one. But make sure you got a medical device so you got a juicer for that heavy metal detox lens. If you don't have either or, be there anyway and hang out. Dino Rubio, good to see you, brother. All right, guys, I love you. Let's go down.